so this is what's going on lately. I got a little bit more free time, so I'm gonna be just going nuts working on the van and maybe some Scion and Civic stuff, maybe some Pontiac stuff, I'm not exactly sure yet. But today's video is, what is even going on with the van? I have had the van, I've been doing lots of work. You can see that lots of the big, big, big stuff is done, but it's all like the small, tedious stuff, like getting the bed mounted, like all the mounts are done. Uh, I'm gonna, the plan today is to paint them. I gotta paint the mounts. The countertop is almost done. I got a couple more support braces to do and then cut the front and the face of it, but like the actual, frame part of it is done, it's ready to go. The counter's mounted on it. There's one more cut to do the counter, but it's mounted on it. I remember a while ago I made these mounts, I actually cut out a thick piece of metal and I welded it to a rod and these are what we're using for uh, to hold the bed in place. But the problem is I just left it in bare metal. So what I'm doing now is I'm painting the bottom so I can flip it over and then scuff the top and then paint it because like I said, it is just bare metal. So this one, you can see it's kind of starting to rust. It's not bad, like it's all surface rust that can easily be cleaned up. Paint the top, and then these are done, ready to go in the van, and then mount the bed onto it. The bed mounts to this, and it does not move at all, so it should be good to go. wires to run to the roof. We have the original fan from the van. Uh, I took it all apart, cleaned it up, it works great. So I want to put it on a two-way switch. There's a proper name for it, but I can't think of it. Uh, when the switch is up, it blows out, and when the switch is down, it blows down, and when it's off, it's off. Uh, so we got to run a couple wires to that. Where the electrical is, there's not really a good way to run it without running it up the pillar. Here, there's a little hole. So we're gonna take a metal, I don't have the wire at the moment. I, it should be in any day now, but uh, my plan is to probably run it right up to here maybe, and then just have it poke out one of these small holes. So I'm gonna run some metal wire down into where the hole is so when the wire does come in i could tape up as much wire as i need and then just pull it up through the hole and then that's that so the problem i'm having right now is right up here there's i guess there's some sort of beam that runs across here and i can't seem to get the wire through so that's that's what I'm running into right now. I can pull it out right here, but the panel goes right here. So I'd have to modify the panel and that is a big job to modify that. And that's not something I wanna do at, at this point right now. So we're slowly chipping away at small things that we have to do today. The poly is pretty much done. I got a couple spots to tape down, but I can't really tape it down just yet. Also managed to get the wire ran. I am gonna have to make something work around here to get the wire through because there's, like I said, there's a beam here and you can't get anything past that and around. Next thing is I gotta cut these little ends off. I wasn't thinking I had it go past and I was gonna put it down at an angle, but I think it's just gonna be easy to put it straight down and have a little gap here for storage. So cut that off make a piece that goes right across here, and then that's done. I could start putting all the siding on and making a cabinet for the front. things done so far which I'm, I'm psyched about how much work I'm actually getting done today got the end cut off of this so now it's nice and smooth so I don't know why I did that in the first place but now it's smooth here I also got this trimmed a little bit so when I put the siding on it'll be perfectly flush with the ed edge of this as that side will be as well the reason I have this is the seat goes right here so this part will be right here. So if you're driving, you can put your phone here or something, it's out of the way. You're not gonna be touching it. So it's not right in front of your face. I think that's a good touch because if it's not there, it's just gonna look ugly. But I got the poly all taped down nicely. So now I'm gonna try and put this cover on, but obviously this color cover had that little vent in it. So I have to fix that. So what I did here is this is the vent that used to be in this hole. I want this hole filled up. So I took a little Pepsi box just as a template and I made this 
to fit perfectly in there so I'm not guessing. And then I'm just gonna take a piece of plexiglass because this is what I had lying around. Cut that out perfectly. It'll fit perfectly in here. And then probably JB weld or plastic weld it around from behind. So, and then have it seep through the cracks. So it'll be a smooth and a sand it. And then just give it a coat. Like you don't see it, but give it a coat so that covered and you'll never know that was ever there. This is one of those things where I know how to do it. I've just never done it before. And it's actually turning out pretty good so far. So I got the template in, it's taped on, so it's not gonna go anywhere, so the, the glue doesn't seep through the hole too much. So now, from behind, I can go give the outside a scuff and then fill it with some JB Weld I have a little bit left over, so I'm sure it'll be enough. actually a lot easier than I thought it was gonna be and so far it turns out good I really made sure to load on the edge I didn't need any in the middle but I just put some there anyways just kind of harden the whole thing up instead of just a little beater on the outside I don't know if it makes a difference or not but that's that done I do need another piece of plexiglass because I got to fill this side piece in pretty much from here straight across here I have a piece but it's like two fingers too short and that just won't work, so which is fine because I got to pick up some more JB Weld anyway. So I'll pick up a small piece of plexiglass or something like that. The air gets forced into here, up through the heater, and then there's a fan right here that forces the air out, and it would come out right here. And then in a normal van, there would be more panels, and they keep coming out of the vents. This one doesn't have that. It would come out of here, and then just straight out of here. So if I could block this off and have a tube coming out of here, and then guiding it across. So it would come out the countertop right here, and then this is the face of it, there'll be another vent right here. So you get some fresh air kind of going through the van. So that's the plan with this, at least I can have a tube directing where it goes instead of just blowing randomly. So that's like four or five things done. I'm not sure, I already lost track of how many things. I don't know how long this video is gonna be. I'm just psyched I'm getting lots of work done. But the last thing I do wanna do today, which is another big thing, is put all the siding on, of course I can't do this, right here, all the siding on the side of the countertop figure out where I want the cabinet and stuff like that. I have all the siding, where is it? I have two over there, and then up on the roof of the van, I have it here. This is my plan, this is what I'm gonna use. Really close to the knotty pine, but just a little bit thinner, and then this will go all the way along the front of this. So I think that's gonna look good. It's only half inch, but I'll put it on, nail it to the top and bottom, that's why I have the, oh, I forgot, I gotta make the, the frame for this. Well, that wasn't too bad. Sides, front, and then the side. I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do for the front because this is where the actual cabinet's gonna be, but just give me the wooden lots across here and nothing across the back because there is nothing in the back. I'm just gonna put a board there so you can't see through it. But the time it took me to do that, that JB Bolt's probably dried by now, so let's peel it off and see how it turned out. I'm not gonna put too much pressure on it yet, but it, it feels like it worked. Feels like it worked pretty good, so that's cool. Like I said earlier, next is gonna be covering up the side and then putting a big tube in here. So before today, this is done. So I'm gonna put it in place and mock up the countertop and make sure that's all good. Hopefully this helps explaining what I want to do. Just one more minute of talking. Don't worry, one more minute of talking. Don't mind it being dark, but that's gonna be covered. That's gonna be covered. That's gonna be covered. This is gonna have that pine on it. This is gonna have that pine on it. And there's gonna be a shelf across here. And this side part's gonna have the pine on it. This is all gonna be storage in here. And this is all gonna be batteries. Batteries, probably two batteries here fuse panel, switch panel, stuff like that on the inside. And then this will be where your switches are, your 12, tell you like your 12 volt power light switches or whatever we decide, the fan switch will go here. But if I do this, you can see it better. That pipe is gonna come straight out here. And then right here, there's gonna be a hole and it's gonna shoot hot air or just fresh air through there. And then it'll also, and it'll tee off and it'll come straight up here. And there's gonna be a hole right here blowing fresh air or hot air into the cab. And that's pretty much that. Also, like I mentioned before, this is with the seat all the way up. 
Now, if you put it all the way back and like lean on it, it's like just a little bit away from here, which is perfect. And then there is the fiberglass that goes around here, which will uh, close up that seam nicely so you can't drop anything behind the countertop. And if there is a little bit of a seam, I'll run a thin bead of silicone all the way across the edge. Now, I know it's been a long video, believe me. Look at the mess there is. It's been a long video for me too. Just two more quick things to do. Those pipes that I had in the very beginning of the video, I gotta scuff those and shoot those, which I'm not in a huge panic for, but I guess I might as well get them done today. And then the actual pine that's gonna go on the shelf, I wanna get that done today. So I'm gonna do those two things quickly. Well, I was doing a good job recording everything I'm doing, but my camera died, so I'm like, eh, whatever, let's get some work done. Here's what we have so far, had the frame, and I just, I glued all these on. I didn't think nailing it or screwing it was gonna look good, like you have a screw or something like that. So it's all glued on. I put one on, pressed it down for like 10 minutes, put the next one on, pressed it down all the way across, and now I have this one holding the center, and they're like not going anywhere. So I think it's on pretty good. The only thing left that I wanna do today is get these bars painted. It's been such a long day. I'm not even gonna clean up. I'm just gonna go to bed. Like I said earlier, I got some time off work and that was my biggest excuse for not making videos is I just didn't have enough time. Now I got some time. So we're gonna, I'm, I'm gonna try my best to do daily things. So today's Monday, it's gonna be posted Wednesday. So Tuesday will be Thursday, Wednesday will be Friday and it'll just go like that. And I'll try my best to just do daily stuff. There's no reason I can't, like I got so much stuff to do. So if I'm like a day or two late, it is what it is, but keep an eye out for those. I'm excited, so for now, I'm gonna go to bed, edit the video tomorrow while I'm doing more work. But anyways, I'll see you guys next time.